Patrick, and I was a student. I'm Chris, and I was the other student. Man, this side is for all those smart kids in class. Yeah, let's rip, rip it. it. Let's rip it, man. <laughs> Losers. Yes, Professor Fry, can I please have Patrick and Chris report to my office? Thank you. Christopher and Patrick, please report to the office. demonstrates four possible outcomes for our own reenactment of the prisoner's dilemma. Social exchange theory is where people view relationships in an economic way. We keep profitable relationships and cut off unprofitable relationships. This theory heavily relies on rewards and costs. Rewards are what we get out of the relationship, is, and costs is anything that gets in the, our way of what we want. In the first situation, I had confessed and the other character had denied. This led to my suspension and his walking scot-free. In the second situation, Patrick is the one who confessed and Chris denied. This resulted in Patrick getting suspended and Chris walking away. In the third scenario, both me and Chris confessed, which led to our expulsions. In the final scenario, Patrick and I denied the claims and we both had received detention. This reenactment follows the first assumption because when Chris and I denied the allegations, we avoided punishment but tried to seek rewards. The second assumption was followed because Patrick and I tried to act in a rational manner. This reenactment followed the third assumption because the reward for each student varied. This reenactment follows the fourth assumption because both Chris and I depended on each other depending on whether we denied or confessed. This reenactment follows the fifth assumption because the future of our relationship depended on the history of our past relationship. Thank <laughs> you.